let's have example one. Uh, let's have it as six and one out of five plus negative two and three out of ten. Okay, can you see my screen? Hello, can you all see my screen? Hi. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, so remember that if I have plus and minus, this will give me minus you remember that oh yes so now let us write the whole of it again using minus so we have six and one out of five minus two and two out sorry and uh, three out of ten Okay, so we say that let's have six and two. So we can say we have six minus two. We get the whole numbers separately and fractions separately. So we have six minus two. Then that one we add there one out of five minus three out of ten. Do you all understand that step? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, so six minus two, we will come up with four, okay? Then plus one out of five minus three out of 10. Let us get the LCM of five and 10. What is the LCM of five and 10? 15. Yes? 50. 50? 10. Yes, 10. Yes, 50 is the common multiple, but we need the lowest one. So we can take 10 because it is the lowest common multiple. So after that, we are going to get uh, five times what number to get 10? Two. Two. We also make one times two. Okay, now 10, what number? Two. Get 10. One. One, also here times one. Okay, now in our next state, we will have four plus two out of 10 minus three out of 10. Is that okay? Is that fine, student? 
Yes. Okay. Next tape. Uh, we cannot get two minus three. Two is smaller than three. Otherwise, we'll be able to get a negative. But now, uh, I want you to note that when we talk about one, one can be one out of one, can be two out of two, can be five out of five, can be eight out of eight, can be 10 out of 10. Many ways how we can write one. You understand that? Yes. This is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, this one is one. Even if I get 1,000 out of 1,000, still it will be one. So we can write one in many different ways. So I'll show you why I'm telling you that. So look at this four. Let's change the way how we write four. This four, we can write it as three plus 10 out of 10. Do you understand that? 10 out of 10 is one. One plus three is four. Is that okay? Yes. So we will have three plus 10 out of 10, the same as four, then plus two out of 10 minus three out of 10. So that we will be able to get three plus, get this, 10 out of 10 plus two out of 10, that will be 12 out of 10. Now minus three out of 10. Is that okay? Is that okay, student? Okay. Okay. Now you get 12 out of 10 minus three out of 10. What do you get? Yes. 12 minus three, what do we get? Three and nine out of. Oh. Yes, 12 uh -huh. minus three, we get nine out of 10. So our final answer will be three and nine out of 10. Is okay. that okay? You understand? Okay. Okay. Any question? So, Peter, do you understand? Yes. Okay, that's good if you understand. Now, if you have got any problem, or maybe if you did not understand example one very well, I'm going to give you another example. And let's call it example number two. Let us have five and two out of seven minus negative two and two out of three. Okay. So remember that negative and negative Negative times negative will give you positive. You remember that? Yes. Okay. So then we are going to have five and two out of seven plus two and two out of three. Is it okay? Okay. All right. Now, in our next tape, we will get five plus two. 
5 plus 2. Then plus, who can tell me? Plus what? Mm -hmm. Two out of seven, right? Plus, yes, plus two out of seven, plus. Mm -hmm. And two out of two. Two out of three. Two out of three. Very good. Okay. Now we also do this alone. So what is five plus two? Seven. Seven. Now we will have two out of seven plus two out of three. But remember, we need to first get the LCM of seven and three. LCM of seven and three. What is that? Mm -hmm. 21. 21. Very good. So this means that we are going to get seven times what number to get 21? Three. 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 Also here times three. Okay, so three times what number to get 21? Seven. <laughs> Very good. Also. Okay. Seven. Now, in the next step, we will have seven plus six out of 21 plus 14 out of 21. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Uh, so, let me rewrite it again. Let's have it as seven plus. So, what is six out of 21 plus 14 out of 21 student? What do we get? Seven and oh, seven and twenty hour twenty one. Yes, six out of twenty one plus fourteen out of twenty one. We get twenty out of twenty one. So we join them together to have seven and twenty out of twenty one. So this becomes our answer. <laughs> 